Clara Looper Radio Show, and today's show is being brought to you by Rainbow, and Rainbow is good bread. Clara Looper was an educator and pioneer of the modern civil rights movement. People tend to think of the movement as a Southern campaign, but Clara put a spotlight on the U.S. Midwest. She organized young people in the sit-in campaigns in Oklahoma City before it drew media attention in the Southeast. Growing up, Clara was always aware of how wrong segregation was, and as an adult, she was mindful of the sacrifices being made to change it. After graduating Langston College in 1944, Clara obtained a master's degree in history at the University of Oklahoma in 1951 being the first black person admitted in the school's graduate program. Before her father died, he promised with tears in his eyes that someday he would take his family to dinner, parks, and zoos. She was committed to seeing the promise come to fruition. A high school history teacher, Clara was driven by a desire to inspire young people to imagine a better society. As an advisor to the Oklahoma City NAACP Youth Council, her students also wanted to know what could they do to help. Following the Brown versus Board school desegregation decision, the murder of Emmett Till, and the ongoing Montgomery bus boycott at the time, Clara knew she had to do something. On August 19th, 1958, she led 14 students and three adult chaperones in a sit-in at Katz Drug Store, where blacks often shopped. For weeks, the youth took seats at the soda fountain counter on Saturdays until the company relented and desegregated 38 stores in four Midwestern states. Clara continued to lead by sitting in at segregated churches, parks, swimming pools, buses, and other public services in Oklahoma. She participated in nonviolent marches and demonstrations for which she was arrested 26 times. From 1960 to 1980, she hosted a radio show that recounted her struggles in the movement. And in 1979, she wrote her autobiography, Behold the Walls. She retired as an educator in 1991, having won numerous awards. At age 88, Clara died in 2011, leaving a bold legacy of tenacity and unconditional love. 